How's it going everybody? So today I just want to show you a little update on the Osborne 1. Everything's working fine now. Capacitors have been replaced. And now I wanted to show you. I got the system disc for the Osborne CPM 2.2. It's basically a precursor to MS-DOS. Or just DOS as a whole. But um, oh, I made a mistake while buying this disc. So this here is the double density version of the floppy. And you're probably wondering what does that mean? So the Osborne 1, when it first came out, the floppy disks, the disk drives can only read single density floppy disks, so about 180 kilobytes. Um, but the thing is, these are formatted different than what IBM floppies are, so you can only have special Osborne format disks. So this here is a uh, working copy of Lisp 80, some ancient uh, coding interpreter. So this is the only disk I actually have on hand that will boot into some sort of prompt. So as you can see here, it starts doing its thing. And there we go, we got a, a little bit of a DOS prompt there. Now you see that auto start question mark, that's um, that's basically like the auto exec file of these disks here. So if I go to my directory, uh, as you can see that uh, this is just for Lisp, a few files. I don't even know how to open the Lisp files, but Let's go in and take our double density disk, put that into drive B. So this is gonna be a little interesting, I thought at least. So we're gonna go, go to B drive. And you see we made it to the B drive. So if I do directory, check this out. It shows up all the files in the system disk. Now, I think my, my hypothesis is like, um, Osborne formatted the disks uh, somewhat differently between their single density and the double density versions. But in between those different formats, the sector that has the directory line is still present and could be read on a single density controller. And the reason I'm saying it like that is because um, when they shipped out the first models, they, like I said, they only could use single density floppies. And then later through the years, Osborne came out with a double density expansion, which you'd have to open up the computer and put in a new daughter board on top of there and po I think probably new drives too, to read the disks, but then you would be able to read double density disks. So with that came a new format for the Osborne disks that you could write and read more data on a single disk. Like, uh, so I bought this one accidentally, um, but I did order the right one formatted for Osborne single density. So we will be getting that very soon. Also, you're wondering why, you're probably wondering why I didn't even try to look on one of those files. Uh, I've already tried like a few minutes ago and it only just shows you the directory because the way the disks, disks are formatted, there's a bunch of little rings and one ring in the center is the directory which basically lists all the files on disk. So even if you try and select a file from the directory, the floppy disk drive won't know where to go to look for one of those files. So it's just gonna show up uh, no file. So I thought that'd be interesting to talk about. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll get an update on this very soon. And uh, once I get CPM on here, we'll try and do some stuff. I'm gonna use the serial port connected to the internet or try it at least, cause there's a difference between CPM and DOS. Very little ones, but I'm gonna see what I can do. I wanna try and talk to chat GPT on this thing. I think that'd be pretty cool. Alright guys, talk to you later.